Friends, on this first evening of the Lenten journey, we come to this table that the Lord has provided for us. We come as the joyful people of God who come seeking God's presence through this feast. As we do so, we are reminded of the words of Luke, of Jesus that we find in Luke, where the risen Lord was at the table with the disciples. And when they took the bread and they ate it, their eyes were opened and they recognized him. So may your eyes be opened this evening as you recognize Christ through this table. Let us pray. Creator God, we thank you for the nourishment that you give to us through this bread and this cup. You are the God of freedom, and we thank you that you do not leave us in bondage, but act in power to liberate us from all those oppressions that we have, the fears that we feel, those monsters that keep us from being awesome. We thank you that Christ, acting in courage and faith, has won for us the victory over sin and death. May the bread and the cup be signs of your renewed covenant with us, and may we ever be faithful until the coming of your final shalom. In your son's name we pray, amen. On the night of his arrest, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ took the bread, and after giving thanks and blessing it, he broke it and said, this is my body broken for you. Take and eat. And in the same way, our Lord took the cup. And he said, this cup is the new covenant sealed in my blood for the forgiveness of sins. Drink ye all of it. For as often as you eat of this bread and you drink of this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes again. These are the gifts of God for you, the people of God. You're invited to come to this table and to share in this meal. I'd be invited to come through the center aisle and to take the bread and then move either direction and take your bread and dip it into the cup. So let us share in this meal. <laughs> 